most of us know what high blood pressure is. The condition or the disease, sometimes referred to as hypertension. And that is the pressure of the blood being pushed from the heart through the arteries, being great. Uh, there's a systolic, which is your high number, and there's a diastolic, which is your lower number. At one time they said that the systolic was the most important number, the high number. And then there are some who tout, doctors and experts that is, that the low number is the most important number. Be that as it may, as it relates to their opinions, high blood pressure can be very concerning and disconcerting to some. Because many people leave here. It's also been said uh, that it has uh, been referred to as the silent killer. You can have a massive heart attack or you can have a stroke that can immobilize you, the stroke that is, or even kill you. So what's a man or woman to do about high blood pressure? And do the numbers really matter? Well, uh, I tend to agree and lean on uh, one doctor's uh, assertion as it relates to the numbers uh, not being really important. I do believe that high numbers are out of the ordinary, of course, but we must remember, we must think that we are all different people. We are all individuals. For example, uh, the average or the norm, as they have said for many, many years, is 120 over 80. Now, what if you had a blood pressure of 150 over 95 and another individual had the same blood pressure? Can both individuals be treated or looked at as the same in terms of their general health? Because both numbers are actually elevated. They really can't. I want you to wrap your brain around this. People being different. Why is it that you can set a rule and say that if your numbers are beyond here or this point, that the outcome is going to be the same for everyone? It's not. There are some people who eat the same foods and it affects different people different ways. Eating the same diet or foods. There are some people who have allergic reactions to some types of foods and other people don't to those same foods. Living in the same region. Why? They're different. It's just that simple. Now let's get back to the uh, subject of high blood pressure and the numbers. What's more important this doctor stated was your general health. You know when you go to the doctor and they take your blood pressure, a lot of times your blood, blood pressure will elevate because you're just at the doctor's office and it's anxiety kicking in. But you should be more concerned about your blood pressure being elevated or very high when you have poor lifestyle choices. In other words, are you a smoker? You should be concerned. That's contributory, if you will, to your high blood pressure. Are you obese? That's a factor as well. Are you sedentary, an individual that doesn't get up and do any exercise, you sit around all the time, you eat all of the time, and you just don't get up and get moving? That contributes to potential high blood pressure as well, and the stresses of life. Are you a worrier, an individual who always has anxiety? Those stresses, physical stresses, are you taking medications for other things too that could potentially uh, raise your blood pressure. Those factors, have you factored those things in? Are you doing any kind of drugs? How is your diet? What are you eating? How are you eating? When are you eating? Are you getting enough sleep? All of these things contribute to what your blood pressure levels would be. Now, I'm going to throw this at you, and I want you to catch it like a baseball catcher. I'm going to throw this pitch at you. So, understand that high blood pressure 
is not a disease that just happens to you. It is the result of something that's wrong. The blood pressure is the response to something that's going on in your body. Should I say that again or say it a different way? I've used this uh, scenario or analogy before. When you're driving down the road in your automobile and your check engine light comes on, it starts flashing. Something's wrong. It may go out momentarily and you just ignore it. You continue to drive until it comes back on again. Wait a minute. It's back on. Then you ignore it because it went out one more time. The next time, it stays on. That could be a potential more worse problem when it stays on. Your blood pressure is the same. Blood pressure is elevated, consistently elevated, and you wonder, uh, wait a minute, when you go to the doctor, get a checkup, my blood pressure is high. It goes down for a moment, one day, a couple days. You feel okay. If it's not broke, I'm not going to try to fix it. All right. You go and check your blood pressure again. It's high. Okay. You're concerned. It goes away. You forget about it. The next thing you know, you have a heart attack or you have a stroke. You rush to an emergency room. They tell you they may have to do surgery. If you survive, that is. So, the warning signs were there. And you did not heed the warning signs until the machine broke down. That machine is you. So, what I'm saying in essence is this. When the warning sign in your automobile comes on, you need to find out why it's coming on. And you need to address that issue. When the warning signs in your body, not just simply your blood pressure, but we're talking about blood pressure in this particular video, but any warning signs, headaches, backaches, stomach aches, cramping, whatever, you need to find out why am I having these symptoms. Address the issue that's causing the symptoms. As it relates to the blood pressure, address the issues that's causing that symptom. The symptom is the high blood pressure. Not high blood pressure is the problem. It's something causing the high blood pressure. So you need to sit down, have a talk with yourself, do an analysis. How do I eat? Do I smoke? Do I drink? Do I get enough sleep? Am I lazy? Or do I get up and exercise and get my heart going to strengthen it and maintain it? Do I have a bunch of stresses from job, from family, from work, from just society in general, people passing away in my life, my mom died, my, my dad or my child or what have you, someone is uh, uh, extremely ill, critically ill that I know, or even I have other health issues. Those stresses there can cause high blood pressure. When you see yourself clearly looking at the problems that you already uh, are dealing with, as an individual then you can really come to the conclusion do the high numbers in my blood pressure really matter so I'm going to summarize this because I've dealt with high blood pressure before in my life so I'm going to summarize this in brother teacher fashion if I have high blood pressure on a regular basis and I'm doing things that are detrimental to my body. All of the above things that I mentioned. I, I, I don't do these things, but I'm just going to tell you. Smoking, drinking alcohol, not getting sleep or proper rest, not exercising, eating a very terrible junk food laden diet, not eating enough green leafy uh, vegetables and plenty of fruits and vegetables and drinking water and so forth and keeping my mind positive. If those things are me, that's the reason why I have high blood pressure on a regular basis. But if you have high blood pressure and you're doing the opposite, 
if you're doing all of the right things and your blood pressure is still high, I would venture to say you shouldn't worry as much about your blood pressure being high. Now, should you be alarmed that it's high? Don't forget what I said early on. I'm not a doctor, but don't forget what I said early on. We are all individuals and we're all different. If my blood pressure is 150 over 95 and the next guy's blood pressure is 150 over 95, what's your lifestyle should be the question then. So once you've done all of the study on yourself and you come to the conclusion, the critical thinking aspect of this now, being honest with yourself, am I living this particular healthy life? I particularly wouldn't worry as much about the numbers. I wouldn't. So me, brother teacher, I don't want to be taking a statin drug for the rest of my life or a beta blocker for the rest of my life, altering my body's own chemistry if I don't have to. People who usually have to take high blood pressure medicine or any other medication is because they fail to take care of their bodies the way that they're supposed to. People who have diabetes, for the most part, they had warning signs before they had to take the pill or the shot. They had warning signs, and their doctors even told them that you have to change your lifestyle. You have to change your diet. You have to eat a certain way. Guess what? They didn't do it. You didn't do it. Some of you out there that's listening to me, you didn't do it. And guess what? Now you're on insulin. You diabetic people are on insulin. Same thing is true with kidney disease. You're on dialysis now because you didn't want to do the proper things. We were not taught about this precious thing called our bodies when we were born, when we were children. We were gave general information about our bodies. No one taught us that this is the proper way to take care of your body throughout your life we became instead accustomed to the American way, to societal pressures, seeing people smoking and drinking and doing all types of things. So we just adopted these habits and these behaviors, but only to our detriment, many of us. Take care of yourself and take care of your children, your loved ones. Always be an example of that which is good in every aspect of your life and the outcome is going to be a more healthier and even happier life this is brother teacher yahweh loves you and i love you good talking to you again so long